Hello everyone, this is Medhavi Nema and today we are going to talk about syllogisms. Syllogisms are one of the easiest topics that you can come across in verbal ability and these are the kind of questions you must practice before your exams and you must solve in your exam to score better in verbal ability. Without wasting any time, let's get started. So these are the few important concepts that we have to cover in syllogisms. So we will basically be using Venn diagrams to solve the questions. Uh, the questions here will be like, we will be given a few statements and then we will be given a few conclusions. We have to look at the statements very carefully, draw the Venn diagram and come at conclusions. The options will be like only conclusion one is true or only conclusion two is true or you know, both are false, both are true, something like that. So these are a few cases that are very common. The first one being all A are B. Uh, here we have the conclusion some B are A and some A are B. We have to consider a few possibility cases as well. That is why we have considered all B being A is a possibility. The next one, no A is B. This is a no brainer. These are two separate circles without any intersection point. So the conclusion here is again very simple. No B is A. The third one, some A are B. Here we have two circles that are intersecting each other and we have some intersection point as well. So the conclusion here is that some B are A. Now again, all A being B and all B being A is a possibility. Mind you, uh, when we compare the case 1 and case 3, we can say that when it is true for all, it has to be true for some. But if it is true for some, it may or may not be true for all. The fourth case, some A are not B. These questions are a bit tricky, but once you understand the concept, it is very easy. Here we have two circles as well. And here we say that some A are not B. So the conclusion here is that some B are not A. But there is also a possibility that all B are not A or all A are not B. Okay, so we have to consider a few possibilities and we will see how we consider possibilities in the questions. Next, these are a few things to remember and um, it may seem a bit scary at first. But once you see the type of questions and once you solve those, you will see that these things are very easy. So moving on to the first question, all apples are bananas, no banana is a mango, some mangoes are oranges. These are the three statements which have been given to us and we have two conclusions that follow and we have to see that which of the following conclusions or if all or if none of the conclusions follow. So if you want, you may pause, go back to the previous slide, look at the uh, type of Venn diagrams, type of cases, try to draw a Venn diagram on your own and then come back and look at the possible Venn diagrams that I have made for you all. So these are the three Venn diagrams that I have made and uh, these are not the only possible Venn diagrams. There can definitely be more, but um, I assume that these were enough for me to solve the question. So if we see the first conclusion, all oranges can never be bananas. Now look at the last two statements. No banana is a mango and some mangoes are oranges. If we consider these two statements, we can always see that all oranges can never be bananas because you know, some part of orange can never come inside bananas because it is clearly given that no banana is a mango. So that is why first conclusion is true. Coming at the second one, some mangoes are apples. So this cannot be true because we see that apples are inside bananas, right? And mangoes cannot be apples. If they cannot be bananas, they can definitely not be apples. So the conclusion too is not true. So we can see that here option A, which says that only conclusion one follows is true. Moving on to the next question. Here again, we have three statements. All apartments are huts, no hut is a building, and all buildings are cottages. We have two conclusions as well. Uh, pause the video, try to make a Venn diagram on your own, and then see what I have made for you all. Uh, so the possible Venn diagrams. I have made three Venn diagrams that according to me were possible. And let's see. So the first one, no apartment is a cottage. We can see that 
no hut is a building and all buildings are cottages so we cannot say anything about no apartment is a cottage because see in the last possible case i have made a circle which intersects with the apple right but it not necessarily has to be true but it does not necessarily have to be false as well so i cannot say that no apartment is a cottage the second one some buildings being apartments is a possibility now you know when these uh, when the conclusion has the word possibility chances are more that the answer is that that conclusion follows but if here you see clearly no hut is a building all buildings are cottages all apartments are huts if you consider these statements it clearly say that buildings cannot be a part of apartments so here in this particular case we find that none of the conclusions follow and therefore our answer is d neither conclusion 1 nor conclusion 2 follows the third question all chairs are table all tables are bottles some bottles are jars no jar is a bucket again the same drill pause the video try to make a venn diagram come at a conclusion and then see what i have for you i have made three possible venn diagrams there can definitely be more because we have four statements so as the number of statements increase the number of possibilities increase as well and if you see clearly in the conclusions we also have a possibility case so look clearly if you haven't tried the question try again and then see what actually the answer is so the first conclusion says that some tables being jars is a possibility and this is true because when we look at the possibility cases we just have to find one particular case where the following condition is true and i have made three venn diagrams over here out of those three this particular condition follows in i guess all three right so this is a possibility there is no uh, double thinking about it and um, the next one some bottles are chairs so this is quite simple uh, the statement says that all chairs are bottles and it is very very easy to assume that some bottles are chairs as i've mentioned in the first slide wherein we covered the important concepts so this is simple the third one the some bottles are not buckets so again if you see the last two statements some bottles are jars and no jar is a bucket so if you combine these two statements you will come to the conclusion that some bottles are not buckets and if you see we see that all the three conclusions are true hence our answer is option number c all the conclusions follow so let's go on to the next one the fourth question uh, we have four statements and three conclusions uh, you can pause the video try doing on it on your own and then we'll see what are the possible venn diagrams so here as you can see i have made three diagrams and there will be more here i am specifically saying here there will be more because as you can see uh the word paper it is mentioned only once right some pens are keys some keys are locks all locks are cards and no card is a paper so when we have a one particular word in a single statement and so you know there are quite many possibilities so as to where this paper can be so you have to make certain cases like so that you know what are the possibility cases here the question would have been difficult if there would have been a uh, an option which says that you know this particular situation is a possibility so for coming to that cases you have to make all the possible venn diagrams that you can think of at that particular point of time so let's see the conclusions no lock is a paper uh, some cards are keys and some keys are not paper, uh, are not paper right so no lock is a paper is very much true because we have seen that no uh, card is a paper and all the locks lie within cards so no lock is a paper is very true the second one some cards are keys so yes some cards are keys because it has been given that some keys are locks right so when you cover the locks uh, circle with the card circle you can automatically deduce that some cards and some keys will be intersecting right so the second statement the second conclusion is also true and the third one 
some keys are not papers so some keys are not papers is coming from the fact that uh, some keys are locks all locks are cards no card is a paper right so we have seen that some keys are cards and no card is a paper so we have to assume that some keys are not paper and this is quite evident from the venn diagrams as well so here again we see that all our conclusions follow and yeah that's it so with this we have come to the end of today's session and i hope you enjoyed it um please feel free to reach out to me or um, other students at i am through the social media links that have been given in the description box we will be happy to help and clear all your doubts uh, please watch the session again in case you feel that some concepts are not clear and um, make sure you join the telegram group so that you get regular assignments and yeah the harder you work for something the greater you will feel when you achieve it and uh, you know just keep practicing and you'll just pass with flying colors so yeah thank you and bye bye